What's going on, everyone? This is Chris Bond. We are here at PAX East 2014. Join me now is Eduardo. He's from Green Lava Studios. And uh, say hello, everyone, Eduardo. Hey there. So what can you tell us about this game? It's called Phoenix Rage. Uh, it looks like pretty awesome. Yeah, it practically is a really fast-paced uh, platformer uh, where this guy, Phoenix, is looking for revenge since his town got completely destroyed. So that's the story. We want the player to discover the story while he play. OK. It kind of has like a, a little bit of a Worms Lemmings thing kind of going on there. Ah, uh, well, the basic uh, inspiration was Sonic and, and Super Meat Boy. And also, uh, we wanted to have the feeling of the comics of uh, Hellboy. Um, but that's what we intended to, to try. Uh, but yeah, basically, that, that's uh, the, our inspiration of it. It looks good, you know. I'm not even going to waste your time anymore. I just want to get right into the game while, while you actually go ahead and tell the viewers just what we can expect, okay? Sure. So uh, it starts very simple. You can get a cookie. Uh, oh, that, I can get a cookie? Yeah. Where's the cookie at? You already ate it. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah you will find it more. Okay. Uh, there's one cookie for each level, so you can. I, I like cookies. Everybody likes cookies. Yeah. Who, who doesn't like cookies, right? Exactly. Everyone loves cookies. But yeah, there's a cookie. Oh, all so right. So the, the, the cool thing about the, this, uh, the cookie thing is that if you get the correct amount of cookies, you can unlock the final world with the final ending. Nice. So it has, it has two endings here for the, you know, the really good player and the casual player, I guess. Okay. Well, I'm definitely as hardcore as they come. All right. So. All right. Then it's your thing then. Yes. <laughs> all right. So, um, so you're chasing this guy. That's, uh, on the I'm chasing this guy right here? Yeah. Okay, but I gotta get the cookie first. Yeah, it's optional, of course. Okay. It's what if I don't get the cookie? You can just go. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's not mandatory. Okay. It's kind of a, a pride thing, I guess. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, if I don't get the cookie, I'm not a really happy person. Yeah. Yep. So, oh, so the next thing I was gonna ask was where are the bad guys? And I see they're actually right there. So what can you tell us about some of these enemies here? Where they, they are like lumps, uh, uh, souls of death. That's what I can say uh, right now. Uh, so, souls of death? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, you just don't touch them. Uh, eventually you will see that they will move and they will mu mutate to different things. Got you, got you. I know you mentioned Sonic and stuff was uh, some of the inspiration. Um, were there any other game influences that actually led to the level design? Well, uh, on level design, I can say uh, that we made this prototype in 2012 kind of, uh, called Phoenix Box. It's in Google Play. It's completely free. But for some reason, that kind of become kind of a viral thing, a successful viral thing. Right. Uh, and we took the, those difficulty levels and level design and put it inside here. Got you. With all the things we like, like... Um, oh, I just died. Oh, yeah. You will have to, you have to figure it out how you to jump. So it's like, it's like a puzzle. Straight yeah, up puzzle level design. Kind of. You will see. <laughs> yeah, because I went up there and it made me start over, so I see that. Yeah. It's like, it's not that obvious. Like, you, cause you have to figure out the, the right path. Yeah. Uh, th there's a, a path so it's, uh, in each level so you can get the, the best uh, time. Right. So I want to put leaderboards in this. Oh. What's oh. that? I want to uh, program the leaderboards so. I can see what people can actually do with the time. And oh, yeah, absolutely. OK. All right. Like that. But yeah, I was telling that uh, the inspiration goes beyond games, because there was this in the 90s. Uh, oh. It was this uh, TV show called Swat Cats. No, nobody. What was it called? Swat Cats. OK. Uh, some people remember it. Some people don't. Oh. It's kind of underground. Right. But yeah, the main characters. Uh, the smile of that character is in Phoenix. It's tricky. Oh yeah. I would love to say, yeah. Oh. I wanted the player discover how they how they supposed to play. Right, right. Yeah, I, I don't like tutorials. Uh, like, like. No, you know, I just get right. I don't have time for books. Yeah, I yeah. I just get yeah, right in there. Right, yeah. right. To just play. That, that's exactly. It. I just play. Not saying you people shouldn't read. But, you know, I just get right in here. You know, reading's good. Make sure you still read. <laughs> yeah. So how many, you know, I noticed I just go into like almost like six levels or so. How many levels are in this game? 200. Wow. 200 and um, nine worlds. Well, okay. eight worlds. And if you get the, the amount, uh, the correct amount of cookies, you will get in the, the last world, the nine world. Got you. Uh, and, well, yeah, it's 80% uh, completed at the moment. So I will finish it in a minute. You know, and what, what I like about it, I don't, I don't know anything about this game, but you know, it's just, it's a jump button, you got the levels, and 
guys there. Look, I mean, look at all this. Look at all this stuff that's going on. But it's really, really easy to play. You know? Um, is there going to be a level editor? I want to do that. Uh, it's in my, it might, yeah, definitely still going to be my uh, next challenge because people are asking for that. Yes. People love those things. Yeah. So I see it says PC and consoles. Now, can we be more specific? Which consoles can we expect this is going to be on? I can confirm the PC. Yeah. But uh, I see 360 here, but what, what else? Yeah, what else? Uh, two days ago, I got the, uh, I don't know, if I can, I'm allowed to say it. Okay. But uh, I got into this incubation program, and that was that was two days ago. So I can't like you know I can't say it. Okay. I just told you guys. <laughs> All right. But yeah, uh, I'm really excited to, to bring that to the console definitely because I wanted to play, uh, players to feel it with a controller, not with a Ab keyboard. Absolutely. Um, and I'm sure you guys are gonna be making a presence at E3 for those that are gonna be coming out, right? Uh, be an updated build, probably. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, why yeah. not? <laughs> okay. I would love to be there. Right? All right. Yeah. It, it sounds good. What else can you tell us before we wrap this up? Anything you want to share with the viewers that are looking at this game? It's really a hard game, uh, and it, and and that's it. It's like a really hard for hardcore players. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, yeah, that's a final message. It's, a, it's like a warning. Yes. Somewhat like a warning, yeah. The, 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 game, the game is called Survive and Get the Cookies. That's, <laughs> that's the real name of the game. Survive and Get Your Cookies. Okay. Uh, and there's a, a, a last thing uh, with the cookies. Yeah. If you get, uh, with the shipment mode, if you get uh, X amount of cookies, uh, right. you can unlock a cookie batch and you get the cookie recipe so you can... Oh, really? Yeah, you can get something out of the game. Now, would that be like Oreos or Nestle's? Oh, uh, no, no, like tropical Costa like Rican tropical? cookies. No, okay. no, Costa Rican okay. cookies. <laughs> All, right. All right. And like, is, is there any type of achievements like for getting to the level, you know, without getting hit, anything like that? There are, there are some uh, small achievements I want to make. For example, in the boss fights, there are uh, oh. things that you can um, you can discover yeah. how to beat them. Boss battles? Yeah, of course. Can you show us? Is there a way you can show sure, us sure. a boss battle real quick? All right, we gotta look at the boss battles. All right. Um, maybe I should boss play battles. <laughs> now we're gonna see the expert. Eduardo is the expert in this game. All right. So this is the. I will skip it. Uh, all right. So basically, uh, all right. This guy. It's like a run. You have to run. All right. Uh, I don't know if you saw it, but. You can dash as fast as you can. Uh, he had that secret tech. Did you see that? He had. See, I had no idea he could run. Secret tech. Yeah, I. You were like one level from from discovering that you have to. You can go really fast. And there's. This is the Sonic inspiration of um, how fast can you go. Sonic, your days are over. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, come on. No, no. I, I will get this one. So close. Yeah. Final landing. There you go. Easy. Nice. And, you know, I didn't ask it earlier. I'm assuming his name is Phoenix. Yes, he's Phoenix. Uh, I not, not Phoenix the Hedgehog, okay? Just oh. Phoenix. <laughs> Got him. Uh, he's a creature. I, we don't know what it is. It's something that uh, turns into fire, uh, like... I, I don't know if you decided this feature. Uh, yep, he's like a match. So if if he uh, slides against the wall, he can turn into fire, and then he can uh, destroy the ice blocks. Is that like a Mega Man influence? Like you like you beat certain things, you get different abilities? Well, not not to be honest, uh, no, no. <laughs> it's something that just came up. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna wrap this up. But we want to thank uh, thank you for taking the time to, uh, to talk with us. Much. And you guys, please stick around. Make sure if you're new or to our channel, please subscribe to Put That Back That TV. Of course, there's gonna be many more. I know you guys are probably asking where Tayasha's at, but trust me, there's lot, so much more content. Cause we still actually have uh, one more day. We have one more day, but there's gonna be a lot more. So make sure you hit the subscribe channel, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Okay, take care.